Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing some Tiny Sailor's World. Now this game's on Roblox for anyone who didn't know, but you guys probably knew already. So we're going to go ahead and spawn in here. It's been a while since I've played this, um, but we're going to spawn in at Cape Town, mainly because... Like, mainly because a lot of people in this game like to, uh, run you down. Like, they just like to ram into you, and I want to be undisturbed while playing this game, you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of ships we have here. Like, a lot of ships to choose from, which is really cool to see. However, today, for today's video, we're gonna just play with the, uh, United States here. I think that'll be a good kind of start ship to uh to work on here so we gotta get in our seat boom there we go and we got the united states now okay it looks like it's storming where's character where's character character visibility make me invisible i don't want to see my guy i want to see my ship so there's the beautiful ss united states arguably my favorite ocean liner ever designed uh, and our voyage today will take us to Tokyo. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and load passengers. Uh, 1928. We'll say it's a full ship here with 190. We're, we don't have as much cargo. Very... We, we, didn't, we didn't book a full cargo booking, but here we go. We got 1,928 passengers, and we are ready to set sail to Tokyo. So let's go ahead and leave. All right, hopefully it's a successful voyage. And we are off as we are leaving. Uh, we're in Cape Town, yeah, I, I almost forgot where we were at. We are leaving Cape Town for Tokyo. Very unrealistic voyage, I feel like, but uh, it'll work. That was loud, what was that? was fucking loud. Was that me or no? That's another ship in the distance. All right, dope. As long as he leaves me alone, we're all good. That, yeah, we, we understand, guy. Okay, so the United States has set sail on her, uh, I guess you could say maiden voyage for Tokyo. So I think this uh, design is really nice. Really nice design here. I mean, I'm just looking at the deck. Everything looks pretty accurate. The United States was pretty much fireproof because there is really nothing that could burn on board the ship. Very strict against that. So, every, I mean, everything looks really good. This ship is just such a gorgeous ship. And we are on our way to Tokyo right now, so hopefully it goes swimmingly. Oh, what, what, what is this? All right. We're just gonna we're just gonna turn around that. Stay clear of the coastline. We don't want to run aground. So if you guys haven't checked this game out, it is on Roblox and it is incredible. So highly recommend it. But yeah, we're just gonna avoid the the coastline here. Check under the water. Really, really good design ship. I think you got little passengers on the deck. We're in the middle of a snowstorm, it looks like, uh, so not a good day to be sailing on the ocean. Going approximately 39 knots. What a fast ship. Absolutely gorgeous, though, the way this ship looks. We can get some, like, beautiful angles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. I wish you could hide names in the background. I mean, just look how gorgeous this model looks. Absolutely beautiful. The passengers are probably inside enjoying dinner or enjoying late night shenanigans, drinking at the bar, sitting at the lounges. The kids are probably in bed by now as we steam towards Tokyo. Very unrealistic voyage, but like I said, a lot of people like to uh, role play over in the the Atlantic side of the map, and they like to run you down and sink you. So it's not ideal for when you're trying to make a video. But uh, 
you know, it's, you know, nice calm waters now. The rest of the voyage is probably going to be relatively calm. Listen to the engine sound. It just sounds so cool. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it just sounds so cool. Okay, we got a, looks like a road wave. We're going to hopefully turn out of the way. Definitely don't want to run into that. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell how dark it is, but it is dark. I can barely fucking see. I can barely see out here. We'll make bergs being difficult to spot. I do like how they added uh, the shipping lanes so you kind of know where to sail so you don't run into a rock or not. What is that sound? Sounds like a volcano. All right, maybe 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 we should steer clear of the uh, the volcano here. Not trying to have a disaster on our hands. So far, pretty uneventful voyage, other than a road wave that almost took us out. Got about seventy six percent fuel left. Just a gorgeous ship, though. Such a pretty ship. I mean. I'm really glad we still have this boat around today, to be to be 100% honest with you guys. We're super lucky to, to have it still around. Even if it's just sitting in Philadelphia, we're lucky. Not many ocean liners left. Oh, iceberg right ahead, but I turn around that. So we do have to watch out for mines. Mines do exist in this game as well. So we do have to watch out for mines. We're going to sail to Tokyo, and then if we make it to Tokyo, we'll probably sail to uh, Cherbourg, France. And it looks like we are arriving at Tokyo to drop off our passengers here. And we did arrive at Tokyo. So we're going to go ahead and stop here. To load up on new passengers. All stop. All stop. All right, game's bugging out a little bit. It's not stopping. Stop. All right, so it looks like we did come to a stop. It was being a little weird there. I don't know why it was being very... We'll, we'll, we'll change it up. This time we'll only leave with 1,500 passengers with full crew for our second voyage on the United States. And we'll, we'll leave in the morning, like more in the day. I mean, just look at this model, though. Absolutely gorgeous. Look how pretty this model is. Super nice. So now we're going to sail to Cherbourg. Kind of pull away extra slow here. And don't worry, for all you guys that are curious, we will sink the ship at the end. We're going to pull away here, say goodbye to Tokyo, and head to Cherbourg, France. Don't know how that's possible, but the game says it is, so uh, we're sailing around the whole globe here. Alright, go ahead and get up to full speed. Just look at this ship in daylight. Now, if you guys are curious, you can switch the skins, so you can go with a blue skin. I guess this is if the, uh, the United States was purchased instead of the France for the Norway. It's what she would have looked like if she was purchased by the Nor uh Norwegian Cruise Lines, so that's pretty interesting. Now, if you guys enjoy watching these ship videos, uh, just feel free to let me know, and we'll check out some more ships in the future. For now, though, we're just enjoying some nice... What was that? Another rogue wave, it looks like. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
All right, we're going to have a close miss here. Very close miss. Very close miss. I mean, just look at this boat. Or ship, I should say. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous ship we got going here. Now, during this time of the day, the passengers are probably enjoying roaming around the boat deck, enjoying some shenanigans on deck, maybe playing, what is this, tennis? Probably tennis. Lounging around, enjoying their voyage. Just taking in the scenery as the ship plows at full speed towards Cherbourg. We're, we're kind of coming in at an angle here, but we'll, we'll turn towards Cherbourg here in a little bit. I, I want to avoid all of that. Going 39 knots. This ship is very quick. It does hold the blue ribbon for Atlantic crossings, which is pretty interesting. But it's just such a streamlined, beautiful vessel. I love the United States. It's so good. The only thing I would say that lacks with this particular ship is probably um, interiors because obviously they, they didn't want the ship to risk catching fire, especially if they needed it for war use. So uh, a lot of the ship was made with non-flammable materials. However, that does come at the expense of design and looks. So really just gorgeous ship we got going on here. But she is plowing full speed. We're probably in the Atlantic somewhere. Uh, what is this, Sydney? Nope, we're still in the Pacific. We're near Australia. I, I, <laughs> I don't know how we're going from Australia to Cherbourg. I guess we go... I guess we uh, go through around South America. Wait, am I, have I got that right? Hold on, boys. I gotta look at the map. Another road wave, but it does not look like it's threatening us. Yeah, yeah, so we definitely have to go around South America. I wanted to make sure I didn't sound stupid on, on recording. So yeah, we just went around South America here. Now we're in the Atlantic, steaming towards France. I mean, just look at look at the angles you can get in this game. Like, look at that. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous angles. Were the lifeboats blue? Or is that... I feel like that's not supposed to be like that. Were they blue? Were, were America's lifeboats or were United States' lifeboats blue? I don't know, but I feel like it's not supposed to look like that. We are currently steaming towards Cherbourg, and we are in a thick fog. We are in a very, very, very thick fog here, boys. So we have to uh, stay on our alert, maybe sound the horn a little bit. Let other ships know that we are... Uh, well, I, thought, I thought that was something I can hit. Let other ships know that we are steaming in the area. We don't want to cause a collision of any sorts. We should be getting close to Cherbourg. Wow, this this fog is very thick. You can barely see. Oh, no, 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 no. I think we have arrived at Cherbourg. And we have. We have arrived at Cherbourg and we completed our voyage. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Collision. Thankfully it's in port, so I don't think this causes damage. But now that we got to experience the United States in Tiny Sailor's World, let's go ahead and sink her. You know, I like to keep the, the videos uncut and stuff, but let's go ahead and sink the United States. Is the water deep here? It is deep. So we're going to go ahead and bring her to a stop.
Again, the stopping seems to be buggy right now, but it might be, I don't know, might be some connection issues with the server. Yeah, stopping is very wonky right now. I'm not sure what's going on. It's, it, it seems to only be a problem when you're near port. Not sure why that's a thing. But we've basically come to a stop. We're going eight knots. We're coming to a stop. So let's go ahead and sinker. And we will do... Uh, hmm, let's see. Let's say the United States... Uh... Let's say a boiler explosion happened. I don't know, it could. Several boiler explosions have taken place. This is in an alternate reality where the United States sinks from boiler explosions. So she is going down. Obviously we don't have passengers on board, but the lifeboats are gonna be simulated. She's going down very flat, kind of interesting. Did not expect her to sink like this. But she is going down. As the stern dips first. Power is still on, but she is plummeting and she dips beneath the surface. Never to see the light of day. I love the Titanic sound effects. It's, wow, really incredible. All the debris, the debris field comes crashing down and she rests on the sea floor. This is the wreck of the United States. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Tiny Sailor World, let me know, let me know down in the comment section down below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys later. Peace out.